slide deck. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, welcome everybody to today's webinar. The title of this webinar is If You Ain't First, You're Last, How to Instantly Engage with Homeowners and Win More Jobs. Um, Taylor and I have really unique perspectives on this topic here. Um, Taylor, his firm Modernized is experts at lead generation, uh, homeowner leads, and here at Hatch, we're experts at instantly engaging with those leads through all these messaging uh, tactics like texting, emailing, calling, dropping voicemails. Uh, so we're able to, to really understand how homeowners respond to messages. Um, and Taylor's got really good insights he's gonna share about homeowner demand in this webinar. So I'm really excited. So thanks Taylor for joining us today. Uh, really pumped to have you on board here. My pleasure, man, let's do this. All right. So my name is Josh Carter. I'm the marketing manager here at Hatch. And my name is Taylor Engstrom. Honored to be here, thrilled to be here. I'm partner marketing manager over at Modernize. Uh, really my job is to work with great partners in the home services ecosystem that can help out Modernize contractors and, and can really bring more value. So excited to be here. Awesome, Taylor. So I titled this webinar, If You Ain't First, You're Last. If you guys have seen Talladega Nights, you I'm sure remember this scene, fitting because NASCAR uh, just got up and running, I think last week, my boy Danny Hamlin won last night. Uh, so I uh, <laughs> just wanted to make sure we shared this uh, quick little gif here. If you ain't first or last, again, we're gonna be talking about strategies to get in front of homeowners today, uh, win more jobs, uh, and engage with them throughout that entire process. So we'll share with you guys some really good messaging strategies. And these messaging strategies are gonna be for you. These engagement strategies are gonna be for you. Uh, because we did a quick analysis of who is joining us on this webinar today. We got some remodelers, a lot of solar folks, a lot of us exteriors, more than a quarter of the audience today awesome. uh, is exteriors, some windows and doors, HVAC. So these are these are the customers um, and the, the type of industries that uh, Taylor uh, and I work with, um, Taylor Monterize, myself at Hatch. So uh, this this topic today is going to be very well tuned for you. A little bit about Hatch uh, before we get started. Hatch is a messaging platform. Uh, we combine text, email, phone, as well as voicemails to enable uh, these one-on-one -on -one conversations with homeowners, uh, automate those follow-ups. So for example, when a lead comes in through Modernize, we can instantly engage with that with messaging. After somebody is quoted, for example, we can automate that follow-up there uh, and even help you guys collect customer reviews to really uh, increase that brand awareness there as well. And We've been working with home improvement companies for, for many years now, so uh, we know what to say, when to say it, and of course, how to say it. Love it. And yeah, I'm with Modernize. Modernize, if you don't know, we are the number one residential lead generation company for four core verticals, HVAC, roofing, solar, and windows. Uh, and as you can see here, really the, the job of us is, is we really help you connect with more homeowners, right? More qualified, high intent homeowners who want to work with a contractor, who want to get a job done. Uh, there are a couple ways we sort of differentiate in the lead generation space. Uh, the first is that we are only focused on those core trades. The second being that we connect you with an account manager. So everyone comes in and you're not just buying a couple of leads that are produced, sent to your email. You're partnered up with someone who's really a lead generation expert and can help you get the most out of your lead gen program. So really excited to be here on this webinar. There's a lot of great insights, whether you're a modernized customer or not. Um, obviously, buying leads is one thing and, and winning that leads is, is quite another. So I'm um, excited to talk about that here with Josh. Yeah, I'm really excited. And, and Modernize and Hatch, we work really well together. In fact, uh, this past week, we launched our latest integration where as soon as a lead from Modernize comes in, uh, you're, you can engage and use, ha use Hatch to engage with them over text, email, phone as soon as they come in. So. Uh, we've been working with Modernize for a few months now. Um, we just launched the integration, so really excited. Um, we found that Modernize provides our customers with really qualified homeowner leads. Um, so we just want to make sure we help customers close those leads, get in front of those leads, and beat out the competition. Again, if you ain't first or last. Uh, so really excited for this partnership, really excited for this integration. Um, and today we're going to share some good insights that we've learned uh, working with folks um, over the last few months uh, with this instant engagement. Uh, with this automated follow-up um, but really that's about all we're going to share about modernize and hatch we'll share with you guys a little bit about the integration later uh, very briefly but uh, the goal here is to provide you guys with four takeaways that you can bring to your business today um, four key takeaways that's our promise to you 
we'll present those at the end of the webinar. Yeah, so obviously I'm with Modernize and we are a lead generation company. What that means is that we have access to a ton of homeowner data, right? We're providing these homeowners for contractors. We're connecting homeowners that want to do jobs with contractors. So we have a really unique insight on homeowner demand and what that looks like, especially during this exceptional time. I'm sure you guys have, have heard about it over the last several weeks. I'm sure this is the fifth webinar you've joined the last two months, uh, but I, we're really here to talk about the data and, and what the data has told us. This is an older slide that we first started presenting when this shelter in place really started happening. And we saw a 2% decrease in home improvement leads February to March. Uh, and looking at the numbers, actually March finished about the same spot as February. So this number is likely even less than that. Um, that said, there's been an improvement month over month and actually May is trending to potentially be April in terms of lead generation and in terms of home improvement leads coming through modernize.com, modernize own entities, right? So the lead, the leads are still there. There's still a ton of homeowners out there. They're sitting at home in many states and they're looking around their house and they're saying, you know, maybe it's time I replace that window. Maybe it's time that we we invest in a new roof. A lot of these contractors are offering discounts. So the demand is there. Uh, and I'd love to talk about even more stuff we're seeing on the front lines, Josh, if you want to hit the next slide there. Love that. Uh, another interesting point is we have a, a large call center that's in a, that enables, enables us to call some of these leads and to gauge their interest and to introduce them to contractors like you. Uh, and one number that's super interesting is we've seen a less than 2% rate of homeowners mentioning COVID-19 is a reason they don't want to speak to a contractor. At the peak of this stuff, sometime in April, this number was at 4%. So now it's almost an immaterial number. This is almost, this is an average number we see in terms of like, I'm not interested in speaking with a contractor. 2% is about the baseline in any other season and any other year. And we're about back to normal. So that's that's the one thing I want to paint with this number is that this was double a couple months ago. And now we're in a position in where homeowners really aren't referencing this stuff. If they don't want to speak to the contractor, it's because maybe their budget is out of whack or maybe they're not really interested. But COVID-19 is not something they're bringing up on a abnormal rate. That is indeed great news. Yeah, and as we keep rolling here, we did this survey a couple of weeks ago to our, our homeowners and, and just for scale, just so, so you guys know, I mentioned we're the leading residential lead gen contractor in the trades in which we service, but we see roughly 150 to 200,000 homeowner requests per month come in through Modernize. So these are big numbers we're talking about. And of the people who responded to our survey this last month, 57% of those homeowners plan to begin their project in the next month. Right. So regardless of what you're seeing, you know, I'm not sure how many of you have been reading the news often or the unemployment numbers or whatever it is. The people that are coming through modernize.com and are interested in a project are interested in a project now. Right. Are interested in doing a project within the next month and they have a plan to do it. So if you're looking for high intent homeowners, they're out there. You just got to find them and and pay for them. And sometimes. And obviously, we don't just look at our own data. We look at Google search data as well. It's very publicly accessible. You, you guys can check this out for yourselves after this program. But in terms of what we're looking at, in terms of the swing back here, we'll go through a couple of search trends, but just for the remodeling search term, the lockdown, as you can see, begins somewhere in mid-March. And all the way here into May, we're, we're almost swinging back to levels above where we were before the lockdown began. So just normalizing across the board, especially you remodelers out there who've joined us today, uh, this is good news for you. And as we keep rolling, roofers, same deal. It's almost more so uh, people looking for roofs. And again, I really want to mention that this social distancing thing has created almost a new market for people who are super busy or people who didn't really, you know, you couldn't get them on the phone, you couldn't get them to respond to emails, right? They're at home now, um, oftentimes with their family. And maybe these like super performers, these super busy people who did want to do a job and never have time to talk to you, they're online now. And often, if they had a plan in mind, but it was more of like a Sunday thing, um, you're now seeing those search trends come in and you're seeing those customers be interested in jobs. So that's another sort of anecdote about the search data we're seeing. And if we keep rolling, contractors near me, contractors near me is huge for Modernize just as a business. Obviously, we use, we utilize several different trades. We service several different trades. So this is a big search for us. And the fact that it's I can't see that number. It's you know it's approaching pre-COVID-19 levels. Like I don't want to hammer hammer a dead horse here, but what the lesson here is not only is Modernize.com seeing 
sustained demand, but also, you know, the big G is seeing the same thing across several of the trades that we service. So um, if you're, there's any doubt in your mind that, you know, your market has contracted in some way or, or, or shrunk, um, the homeowners are there and the homeowners are interested. And we're seeing that across a variety of data points. So keep the hope, keep the faith and, and think about what you can do to leverage those leads and to, and to speak to those homeowners in the right way. And lastly here, you know, there are some people that have definitely benefited from this. This came out from our, our recent ebook that we'll be able to share with you all after this, but in terms of the data we've seen of tracking homeowner intent. So this comes directly from Google search trends. So the stuff we were just looking at, several of these terms have super benefited. So we have here this, the trades we service, roofing, windows, door, siding have all improved massively over the last couple of weeks and months. Uh, and Home Depot, one of our customers, and Lowe's, another large, large, large home service company uh, on Home Depot's heels definitely improved from this. So I'm not sure if you guys have dri driven by Home Depot recently or seen some of the lines um, during this time, but again, there's a lot of demand, not only for DIYers, but for people who are looking to outsource that project to a contractor like you. No doubt. And one thing that we're noticing also is that a lot of folks will start their project or they'll start a DIY project and realize, oh my gosh, this is, uh, I, I bit off more than I can chew. And then they want to contact a contractor. So that's the other hope with DIY, right? Yeah, absolutely. And one thing that Hatch has seen is that virtual appointments are really helping business move forward during this time. Before April 1st, we had hardly any contractors doing virtual appointments and setting these virtual appointments in Hatch's messaging platform. But since April 1st, we've seen over 600 virtual appointments get set in. Really, that's causing these key differentiators in, in the market, in the home improvement space. Uh, if you're doing virtual appointments and you're able to provide that option to homeowners, you're winning, right? So there's gonna be a lot of homeowners that don't want you to come to their house or they only want you to come to their house for the job and they'd rather really limit that face-to-face -face time. Virtual appointments really, really help with that. And we've got a lot of great content. If you go to usehatchapp.com slash blog, we've got some really good uh, content around how uh, you can conduct virtual appointments, what tools to use, all that great stuff is available to you at no cost. Uh, the other thing that we've seen is that, you know, just like search trends are increasing, homeowner demand is increasing, we see a 25% increase in sales using Hatch uh, for our customers in April versus March. So things are turning upward. Uh, there's a lot of hope here. Um, and we're here today to help you execute in uh, messaging, help you execute on leads that are coming in, homeowners that are interested in getting that project done. Um, and that's really gonna be a lot of the takeaways that we're gonna bring to you in this webinar today. Yeah, and as we mentioned, you know, I, I don't wanna beat a dead horse with any of this stuff. And we've all, we're all sick of hearing the C word, I think at this point, but I think, you know, I think the light at the end of the tunnel is there. And I think the nation is recovering. We're here in Austin, Texas. We're a more aggressive state in terms of the reopening. And regardless of your sort of opinions on all of that, we are heading into busy season. And the summer is, is going to pick up for a lot of contractors, which are already essential businesses. So with all that being said, while there's definitely an opportunity to grab some market share, if you if you had the cash reserves, if you are in the position to continue operating your business during this, businesses that maybe took a break or maybe businesses that weren't able to adjust that quickly, they're coming back on too. So really the, really the, the crux of it is that competition is going to heat up, especially in the summer and especially coming out of this, this lull for a lot of contractors. So with that being said, with competition heating up, you know, one thing you got to be thinking about is like, how am I going to beat out the competition? What what can I do differently from all the other roofers, all the other windows contractors out there? You know, how can I really stand out? And, and one way, as you can see on this slide, to stand out is speed, right? Speed to lead. Big reason a lot of you signed up for this webinar today. Speed to lead is something at Modernize we talk about all the time. Right? We talk about the importance of, of getting that home, homeowner on the line as soon as possible. We talk about the various strategies you can deploy, whether that's texting, calling, emailing, whatever it is. Speed to lead is the name of the game, especially when it's going to be super competitive, as it will be this summer. And just to quote, you know, an, an off-quoted number from Hatch, you're seven times more likely to send an appointment if you respond to a new lead in one hour versus two hours. Right. We're all busy. I, I assume a ton of you contractors out there maybe have a small sales team, maybe you have an appointment setter, but maybe you don't. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just you and one other person. I'll call that lead when I get to it. If that's if that's sort of your standard operating procedure, if that's your SOP, 
these numbers are telling you you're you're leaving a lot on the table. You're losing a lot of jobs. And I know, you know, it's in you're out doing the job. Maybe you're on the roof and maybe you can't make that call. You can't beat some of these other competitors out. But just know, you know, when you invest in a lead program, when you invest in online marketing and these leads are coming through, it's wasted money if you're not able to prioritize how fast you reach out. And this number indicates that. Even more so, if we go to the next slide, you're 21 times more likely to close a deal if you respond in less than five minutes. At Modernize here, we say a lot, you know, best practices within 15 minutes, but the data says otherwise, right? The data says 21 times more likely, less than five minutes. And again, this is almost wow. impossible unless you're sitting at your desk every day, just ready to make a phone call. And I know there are some of you hustlers out there that are exactly like that, but really the best way you're able to do this is technology. So I'm curious, we're gonna make this webinar pretty interactive. So I'm gonna launch this poll. When a new lead comes in, what do you do? Just launch the poll. Let us know what you guys do when a new lead comes in. Really curious. Yeah, and bonus, bonus points if you do all of them. I know that's not an option, but. <laughs> Leave it open for five more seconds. Wow, most of you guys have participated in the poll. Thanks for participating. This is great. All right, I'm gonna share the results. Call, cool. yeah. All right, yep, that's what I expected. Yeah, all of you guys are calling, that's fantastic. Uh, more folks are texting than emailing. Texting is super effective, we'll touch on that in a minute. So yeah, majority of you guys are calling those leads. Um, that's fantastic. What we found here at Hatch, uh, is that nine out of 10 homeowners want to have two-way text conversations with your business. Texting has a higher open rate uh, than any other medium. You know, it's, it's, it's more effective than calling people. It's more effective than emailing people. It's more effective than Facebook messaging people, right? So it's really important that you start with text. Text is absolutely critical in your business today uh, to, to, uh, to, you know, really engage with those homeowners. So I really, really want to make sure that we're, you know, harping on that as we talk through this rest of this webinar um, on how to instantly engage with leads. Yeah, nothing to add. Something that Josh, we huge numbers. <laughs> Great. Something to uh, something to add here with uh, people that are instantly engaging with people uh, with leads, homeowner leads is cancellations are nearly cut in half. OK, cancellations are nearly cut in half for people that instantly engage with those leads. Like I mentioned before on this previous slide, guys, nine out of 10 homeowners want to have two way conversations with your business. You get a 98 percent open rate. You got to start with text when you do this, when you instantly engage with people within, like we mentioned before, that five minute SLA, that one hour SLA, those, those type of results that you'll see when you do that, we see cancellations are cut nearly in half and you have two times the booked appointments versus traditional methods like routing it you know, through a call center uh, or you know, uh, getting to it in the evening, getting into it the next day. So it's really important that you instantly engage with leads. But what do you guys do when leads don't respond, right? Um, a lot of a lot of what we've seen is, yeah, there's going to be a 98% open rate on text. That's fantastic. Um, but in working with a lot of home improvement companies, we found that oftentimes it takes two, three, sometimes even four touch points uh, in a given time with homeowners to get them to respond, to get them to schedule the job. So it's really, really important that we have a strategy in place to execute on that. Um, this is an example of that strategy, guys, a multi-touch follow-up. Day one, the lead comes in. You immediately send them a text because text again has a 98% open rate. Touch two on day two, you combine texting, emailing, and calling. And if you do call, make sure you leave a voicemail because oftentimes they're gonna see your number on the screen and not recognize it and not answer it and say, oh, if it's important, they'll leave a voicemail. Make sure you're leaving those voicemails, guys. On day four, touch three. One thing that we've seen for our customers is on day four, Touch three, you give them a special offer over email and over text. And I'll touch on what that offer could be and what's worked well for a window company here uh, locally in Virginia. Um, and I'm really excited to show you guys that messaging strategy. And then touch four, 
day seven, a week later after the lead comes in, I call it the Hail Mary. Uh, you do text, email, call, leave a voicemail. Uh, it's really going to be your last chance to get in front of the lead. Um, but of course, you know, not all hope is lost after day seven. Uh, they can always go back into your nurture database and your CRM and you can, you know, feed them marketing information, uh, put them more top of the funnel, so to speak. Yeah, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, if we want to go back. This is a this is an out-of-the-box hatch template for like multi-touch follow-up for leads. But again, you know, yep. I know 100 percent of you said call. So uh, in the modernized world, we also recommend do all of these on the first day. I think this sets a mm -hmm. great precedent for day two, day three, day four. I love the special offer. I love the Hail Mary. But I think really the lesson here is reach out a lot, reach out in various ways, and be first, right? Be fast. So day yep. one, you can do all of it as well. That's what we recommend. Um, but really make sure you're you're trying to do as much as possible over the next several days with some variation and creativity to mix it up. But love this slide, Josh. Thanks. Yeah, no doubt. And this is how you actually set up that campaign. Uh, you could set reminders uh, using your, you know, your phone. You can set a reminder to follow up via email the next day, four days later, five days later. Um, or you could use a program like Hatch. This is an example of setting this up in Hatch where day one, we send the text. Uh, day two, we text, email, and we even drop a voicemail. This is all done automatically. So as soon as you click save and run, it'll automatically follow up with those modernized leads when they come in or a form on your website, those leads or whatever you're using to, to generate leads there. Uh, we can automate all of this process. Um, but in the very least, it's important that you, whether you're using the platform or not, uh, that you have a good follow-up strategy. Because like I mentioned before, guys, I mean, sure, you're going you're gonna to instantly engage. That should be, you know, a number one thing you should be doing today is instantly engaging with those leads. Um, but the next step is then following up with those leads. So we wanna make sure that we have a process in place. And this is an example of a window company here in Virginia. Um, I anonymized them um, obviously to, 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 uh, for, to hide the innocent, I guess you could say. Uh, so hi Taylor, this is Josh from ABC Windows. Do you have a few minutes right now to talk about your project? This is uh, a customer that is using Hatch to instantly engage. And this is the messaging that's working really well for them right now. Uh, so they instantly sent the text from ABC Windows. Do you have a few minutes to talk about your project? They didn't respond. So the next day uh, we say, I'm happy to provide a free re window replacement quote virtually or in person, which would you prefer? Like I mentioned before, guys, virtual appointments are really working well. Um, there's some homeowners that are a little bit wary of it, um, of you know people coming into the house um, you know, or even you know, being face to face with the person in the initial uh, process, the sales process. Uh, so it's important that that we give folks the option of virtual or in person. Which do you prefer? Uh, they didn't respond. So two days later, like I mentioned before, bring that special offer into the forefront. This is working really well right now for our customers. Hi Taylor, are you looking to replace your win? Are you still looking to replace your windows? So what this does is forces a yes or no response uh, for homeowners. So they can say, you know, no, not right now, and then you can schedule. Uh, you know, a follow up with them, maybe two, three months down the road, whenever they say they want to, you know, continue the project. And then the discount, right? I'm authorized to provide a 15% discount if we can get your windows installed by May 31st. Putting a hard deadline, setting a hard date as to when the uh, discount is, uh, is, you know, applicable until, uh, that is a really, really effective way that's working for our customers. And in this case, this is an actual response. Uh, the homeowner said, sorry for the delay been busy the last few days, give me a call. Um, and using Hatch, this was all done automatically. So these are super personalized, first name comes in, the follow-ups get automatically sent out. It's it's super effective guys. And they actually ended up closing, I think it was a six or seven K uh, window deal for the front side of the house. So um, after this this text conversation, so it's super effective. Yeah, and I, I, know, I, know, I know Josh mentioned it a couple of times, but this was done automatically, right? So your call center team can still be calling this person. You can be calling this person individually every time you come into the office, you know, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whenever you you roll in. And this is going on in the background. This is going on, you know, not taking up any of your energy or time. This is just another touch point that's being automated for you. So um, can still have the omni-channel strategy, can still reach out in a variety of just different ways. But this is something you just don't have to worry about it. Set it and forget it. Use a best practice like this. Make sure you have a deal in place. Um, and yeah you see success come through on this one, but yeah, key lessons there. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And it's really important to have a system in place to do this. Um, you know, 
we've seen folks use a combination of Gmail, iMessage, uh, maybe even their CRM to do these things uh, to, you know, I guess, hack their way around these different, um, you know, approaches to instant engagement, these different approaches to follow up. Um, it's important to have a system in place. And, and we recommend here at Hatch and Modernize uh, to have a centralized system in place or a connected system in place to do that instant engagement and follow up. And I, and I really quick want to show you, show you guys a quick story about um, a Southern California remodeler. Again, I'm not going to share names here. Um, they made 190K in additional revenue in April. What they did is they implemented instant engagement and that automated follow up in their business to all these leads coming in through all these online channels like Modernize. And they made an additional 190K in April. It's, it's quite an incredible success story. I'm happy to talk with you guys after this after this webinar about what they did and their approach. Um, but 190K just by doing follow up, just by doing instant engagement. And what that looks like, guys, from a homeowner perspective, when you do do that instant engagement is right here. Yeah, what you're seeing guys here in, in pretty fast motion is is the lead gen process for Modernize. So if you're coming into Modernize.com and you're looking for a job, as you can see here, you're not just putting in your email and we're selling you to a contractor. Um, you're putting in your information, you're putting your you're clarifying that you're the homeowner, you're clarifying your address, you're selecting a specific trade you want. We ask all these things. We think we're pretty unique in that and then we really encourage quality. But again, as I don't you, want you to miss, the moment you're able to click um, and the moment that lead is processed on our end, it shoots over and then an SMS is sent. So, um, Josh, I don't know if you want to talk about the, the real-time connection there, but um, speed to lead here in this situation is definitely to your advantage. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's it's really incredible. So as soon as the homeowner comes in through Modernize, you can get that text incidentally sent to them. You'll be first to the lead. Again, if you're not first or last, text has a 98% open rate. Let's get in front of homeowners with text and then continue that conversation across phone and email. Yeah, we talked about it a little at the beginning, but you know, we're, we're, we're pulling up here to the Q&A and the end of the webinar, but um, you know, this is at a high level what an integration with a Modernize and Hatch looks like. Um, the lead comes in, obviously the, the homeowner little image at the top there comes in through us, requests a job. And as I mentioned at the top of the webinar, you know, these homeowners are looking to do these projects within two to four weeks, right? This is a now thing, not a next year, not a next quarter. They're coming in, they're giving us their details. And then, you know, whatever CRM you use, if you're, if you're investing in a CRM, we really recommend that to sort of win in this, in this new con contractor competition. But uh, if you have a lead perfection, if you have a job Nimbus, if you have a job progress, um, not only are we going to shoot that lead over there, we have over 100 integrations with CRMs, but we're going to shoot you over to Hatch at the very same time, and that lead is going to get reached out to. So um, super dead simple visual, uh, but there's a couple points I just want to hammer home here in terms of this integration. Uh, this is truly an industry first, right? So there are a couple things that are crucial with that. This is truly real-time engagement. Again, once that lead comes in and we process it does take some time on our end to process that lead. We want to make sure A, you're a real person, obviously B, you're a homeowner and you actually live at that address and C, your phone number's good, your email's good, right? So we really care about qualified high intent homeowners. We go through all those processes. Once those processes are complete, we shoot over hatch. And as you see, that SMS comes immediately, right? No other lead gen company is doing this. No one else is partnered with a great messaging communication platform like Hatch to be able to do this. And again, there's no need to push the CRM into a messaging system. As much as you love your CRM, or maybe you don't trust your CRM at all, we're gonna push into that CRM as well as Hatch at the same time, so you'll never lose that speed to lead battle, right? Josh mentioned 98% open rate. There's a real time nature of SMS. There's something deeply physical and, and psychological about when you get that buzz in your pocket to respond to that message, yep. right? So be that message, be a helpful message, be, you know, Josh from ABC Windows, Taylor from XYZ Roof, be that message in the pocket, be fast, be first, and and never really lose a job because of lead follow-up. I love that, Taylor. I think you spoke on it very well. And, and like I mentioned, guys, we're going to fulfill our promise here. Uh, we went through this webinar pretty quick today. I appreciate you guys are really busy. Um, four takeaways to bring to your business today. Taylor, you want to kick these off? Yeah, take advantage of increased homeowner demand, right? We talked about the swing back, we showed Google data, we showed our own data, the homeowners are out there, you know, you know, best wishes to all of you, hope you've been able to navigate this. 
in the right way. If you're on this webinar right now, you're taking the right mindset, you're being aggressive about this sort of thing. Um, if you haven't been able to take advantage of increased homeowner demand just yet, make sure you're doing it now, um, whether that's pouring gas on your online marketing or considering a lead generation provider, I hope you consider us. Take advantage of that increased homeowner demand, it's out there. And obviously, as I just mentioned, implement strategies and tactics that will enable you to beat out this competition, whether that's you know, buying up more ad space, uh, doing more canvassing, you know, if it's something you're able to do in your neighborhood, or investing in lead gen and investing in virtual tools to be able to do more virtual appointments, you know, make those choices, make those decisions, and, and be able to stand out from your competition and beat them in the end. Next point is start with texting, guys. Um, you can do this right out of the box. You've got a cell phone right here. I've got it right here. Uh, you get a lead, instantly engage with them. Obviously, we prefer that you use Hatch to do this, um, but start with texting, then use every other channel to engage, especially if you can get in front of the homeowner within seconds of them you know, requesting uh, that quote. Uh, that's even better, right? You're going to get a higher um, conversion rate or a close rate on those on those leads, uh, and you also get you know more appointments set as well and through that process. The last piece is automate and set reminders to follow up with leads. You can automate this in Hatch. Uh, you can set reminders in your phone to follow up with the lead over text, email, uh, call, all that good stuff. Just make sure you're following with, up with these leads. It's oftentimes we've seen a lot of sales reps will set it and forget it. They'll 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 re reply to the lead once and then just say, all right, you know, they didn't respond. So on to the next one, right? On to the next job. You guys are super busy. It's really important that you set reminders or automate that process using something like Hatch to follow up with those leads. And I guarantee you, just like that company in Southern California, the, the remodeling company in Southern California, uh, you'll see additional revenue every single month. And for them, it was 190K. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to make this again, like I mentioned, more engaging. So what takeaway are you guys most excited for this summer uh, to implement in your business? I'm going to launch this poll. Really curious about, you know, what you guys are interested um, in focusing on this summer. You love to see people beating the competition, Taylor. That's <laughs> it's pretty darn important. Yeah, it's kind of a tricky one because it's like if you do all of these, you're you're definitely going to beat out the yeah. competition. So. <laughs> no doubt. And I was talking with Market Sharp's president or founder actually uh, the other day, and he was saying, you know, companies that are weathering this storm now, you know, focusing and implementing uh, digital tools in their business, focusing on those virtual appointments and you know, executing and getting jobs rolling and keeping jobs going, it's uh, it's really gonna help you guys come out on top and beat the competition after after the storm. I think that was a really good quote from him and I, I encourage you guys to, to keep um, pushing forward. This is all gonna be over soon. All right, I'm going to close the poll, share the results. All right, beating the competition, all right. Yeah. Incorporating texting for instant lead engagement and automating and setting reminders for follow-ups. So it looks like everybody's focused on beating the competition. You love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think if you're if you're implementing any of these strategies or tactics today, or you're already doing it, and you're just gonna do it faster and better, you're you know the results will come. You'll you'll beat out that competition. So awesome to see you know aggressive mindset people on this webinar. You know, good luck to you all. No doubt. And hey, look, guys, if you're interested in learning more about Hatch, Modernize, both of our companies, neither. Again, we've got a really cool integration uh, in place with Modernize where, you know, Modernize can give you guys these qualified homeowner leads and then Hatch can instantly engage with them. If you're interested in learning more about that, uh, please fill out this poll, um, you know, and we'll be happy to reach out, show you guys around um, our products and what, how we can help, um, you know, Again, it's 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 industry first what we're doing here with Modernize, and I really want to make sure everybody takes advantage of it uh, because, again, I mean, homeowners are shopping around, right? Um, they're not just going to get a quote from your business. They're going to get a quote from, uh, you know, multiple businesses. Uh, so, you know, it's really important that you stay on top of that lead. If you're not first, you're last, just like Ricky yeah, Bobby yeah. said. Yeah, and wherever you are in your sort of consideration process for, for online marketing for lead gen, uh, we totally get it. We're happy to have those conversations. But you know, if you're if you're taking the aggressive approach, you're looking to add you know 500k in revenue, annual revenue this year, upwards upwards of that. Um, you're really trying to take advantage of this homeowner demand we talked about. You know, we'd love to chat with you guys. Yep. But yeah, Josh, I know we have a Q and A up next. We want to 
roll over to that. We do, yes. All right, first question is, uh, will the presentation be available after the call? Yes, the presentation will be available after the call. And I think we have a question for you, um, I, Taylor. It's a question is, um, what industries does Modernize work with and, they, and do they work with exterior companies? Yeah, so our, our primary verticals are roofing, HVAC, solar, windows, and siding. So exteriors company, if you cover any of those two, roofing, siding, um, that's all us. Uh, we don't. We do some other fringe trades at much lower volume, but you know, again, if you're aggressive, if you're looking to get a, a ton of homeowners, uh, those are the verticals we um, we work in. Uh, but I, it's not included on this slide. Uh, obviously, we'll be reaching out after uh, my email address personally. I'm t e n g s t r o m at modernize.com. So t engstrom at modernize.com. Uh, if you have any questions about the content or about you know some of the trades we service or you know any general questions, uh, be happy to answer them. Awesome. Yeah, very good question. Uh, the next question is, does Hatch integrate with other forms of lead generation? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, so we integrate with Modernize. We can also integrate with your website forms. So if you've got a form on your website, you're collecting leads that way, uh, we can plug into uh, that form, instantly engage with those leads. Uh, again, we've got a lot of integrations, just like Modernize, a lot of really good partnerships. Uh, with the tools that you're already using today so we can help uh you know expedite that workflow yeah just to clarify you know modernize wouldn't replace any of these processes right so um if you're yep. if you're doing a ton of organic traffic awesome for you if you have a big email strategy if you're driving people back to your website and you're getting a good amount of leads that way adding modernize is just another channel that would be sending leads to you right we wouldn't replace your website we wouldn't do any of that it's just an additional sort of lever to pull and again, as Josh mentioned, both of them are integrated into Hatch, so um, can win that speed to lead battle every time. Great, we have another question for you, Taylor. Can you provide cost per lead or how does the pricing work for Modernize? Yeah, it's a great question. So cost per lead is uh, dependent on a couple things. It's dependent on your metro and obviously your trade. So some leads cost more than others, just given job sizes, right? So we service solar, which is often pretty big in residential, right? It could be in the neighborhood of, of 20K and up. So, you know, we'll charge a little little more for leads like that. Um, and it really depends on uh, the metro, the area, uh, how competitive it is, right? So baseline, again, this would, have a, this would have to be a conversation with one of our great sales folks about your specific situation and the lead program we could tailor for you. Uh, but our leads range anywhere from 30 to $50 uh, cost per lead. That is a great question. I think that's all we have um, for questions here. Um, thanks everybody for joining. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. We're gonna send the presentation and the webinar recording soon after this webinar. Uh, thank you so much, Taylor, for joining us. Really, really unique perspective um, on the homeowners that you provided for us and really excited for this partnership and integration, man. This is This is awesome. Yeah, Josh, my pleasure. Um, really excited to work on an industry first thing. And if, and if you guys have, you know, any interest in lead gen or you're already working with us and you're you're thinking about this hash thing, what is it? You know, it'll be a game changer for your business. Um, it's not gonna change your calling processes. It's only gonna add to it. It's only gonna make it better. Josh, my friend, awesome doing this webinar with you. Uh, thanks to everyone who attended. Uh, we'll see you on email and uh, good luck out. Good luck out there. Thanks, be safe. Thanks everyone, cheers.